368 graves or to read the 43 names inscribed on the walls of the missing. You'll see names like Private First Class Charles S. White, who served in the 106th Infantry Regiment, 27th Infantry Division. He died on September 2nd, 1918, just two days after the start of the Ypres Liz Offensive. First Lieutenant George H. Zeller from Pennsylvania, who's in the air, so air service. And he was on patrol on July 30th, 1918, in his Bristol F-2B fighter. The aircraft was last seen in flames on that day. On November 2nd, 1918, the 148th Infantry Regiment, 37th Division, became the first Allied unit to cross the Scheldt River, doing so in spite of heavy losses from devastating machine gun and shell fire. Private First Class Sabino Datolo, in rest here, is listed among the fallen. These individuals fought for peace, liberty, and stability in Europe, along with many other sons and daughters, many of them descendants of European Im immigrants, who came to the United States seeking freedom, seeking opportunity, and a better way of life. Today, the ideals these heroes defended and died for are being challenged in new ways. The attrition warfare of 100 years ago has been replaced by terrorism, by state-sponsored aggression, and by malign influence. While the nature of war has changed and the battlefield has shifted to other domains, the core values of the servicemen and women in whose footsteps we follow a century later remain constant. Honor, courage, and selflessness. The partnerships that we forged in trenches 100 years ago endure today as United States forces in Europe remain committed to collective defense and cooperative security alongside European allies and partners. Built on an unshakable foundation of shared values, experiences, and vision. The U.S.-European alliance has strengthened over the past 10 years, 10 decades. In 2018, as in 1918, we stand together with Belgium and with other NATO allies and partners to ensure a Europe that is whole, free, prosperous, and at peace. We owe the tens of thousands of Americans resting in endless peace on European soil, nothing less. While the fallen comrades we memorialize today did not seek glory, as General John Pershing said, time will not diminish the glory of their deeds. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, nothing will. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Thank you for being here to pay tribute to our fallen heroes. May God bless them.